our rank friends. Let's go ahead and get right into my cash stuffing. Thursday everyone and welcome to Cash Me in Paradise. My name is Jocelyn. I make cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii. For those of you that are new to my channel, aloha and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. What's good YouTube fam? Aloha and welcome. So happy to have each and every one of you here today. On my channel, you will find all things budgeting from cash envelope stuffings, saving challenges, sinking fund updates, unboxing, investing, as well as saving up for my house down payment. In today's video, I will be going over my weekly check-in for the last paycheck of August. See how many likes we got from last week's Transfer Thursdays video and stay to the end as I do my cash stuffing for paycheck number one of September. If you're having a great week so far, give this video a huge thumbs up and let's begin. All right, friends, let's jump right into my weekly check-in. We left off last week on Thursday, September 1st. And your girl did it again. I had another no spend, which is so awesome. On Friday, I did purchase the Wealth Workbook from Mommy Trader. I also had a discount, so I used the discount code, but it was for $25.50. On Saturday, I did also transfer $25 for my YouTube giveaway price. On Sunday, we had my mystery scratch-offs from Hands and Bands, and that was for $1.15. I also went shopping for a new bed. I'm so happy to announce that the hard work of saving up for my bed finally paid off. I was able to get a bed at Bedmart. So excited for that. That was for $1,400. Today, next on Monday on Labor Day, we did go to TJ Maxx. I did spend $20 there. On Tuesday, I did have to fill up my gas tank. So that was for $25. On Wednesday, we did go grocery shopping. We did pick up more things for the house and that was for 75. And then today being Thursday the 8th, I won't know until the following week if I had another no spend. Next up, we have my $1 and $5 saving challenge. Every time I get ones or fives back from the store, I do like to set it off to the side for this challenge. Originally, I was using this to pay down my CARE credit card. A few weeks back, I was able to pay that off to become fully debt free. So excited for that. But let's see how many ones and fives that we were able to save up this week. And then I was able to also find some J bucks. I'm gonna put this off to the side for now. All right, so in total for this week, we had 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 37. Wow, I think that's the most so far. All right, and then next up, I have three J bucks. As you can see, the letter J here, which represents the Federal Reserve Bank that printed the money. For example, J represents Kansas City. So we have one, two, and three. And what I'm using this for is once I am able to purchase my house, I wanna use it as a reward, as a housewarming gift for myself. So this is 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. Wow. So we were able to save up 50 so far. Let me color in the tracker. 
So the letter J represents five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. And I got this cute tracker from Reinventing Renee. I will leave her information down below. Next up, we have my coin saving challenge. Same thing like the $1 and $5 saving challenge. Anytime I get coins back from the store, I like to keep it off to the side. So this week I did have a few coins. Let me go ahead and just empty it into the jar real quick. And this is also another great way to save up money over time. It does add up fairly quickly. At the end of the year, I will take this to my local bank to see exactly how much I was able to save up. And more than likely, I will also be adding this towards my house down payment. Next up, we have the Tiger Saving Challenge. And the objective of this saving challenge is to save up a total of $2,022 in the year 2022 and this is my chinese zodiac which i'm so excited for so this week we are going to be adding another 80 dollars so let me go ahead and color in the paw print real quick all right so you have 50 70 and 80 dollars and then let me just open up my saving challenge binder Hope you're all having a great week so far. Can't believe we're already in September. The year is just flying on by. Sooner or later, it is going to be Christmas. <laughs> Alright, so for this challenge so far, I was able to save up a total of 1,000, 11, 12, 1,300, 1,350, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, and 94. So a total of $1,394. And I do plan on using this for my birthday at the end of the year. I do want to do a spa day. Before we jump into my budget breakdown for paycheck number one of September, I did want to share some happy mail that I received. So this was from Erica over at Erica Budgets. She did create some really cute saving challenges. And she reached out to me because she knew I love saving challenges. So let me just put that off to the side. So the first one is to save up a total of 2023 in the year 2023. So I'm so excited to start this challenge next year. So each little square represents a number. You save up that amount. And then by the end of the year, you will have saved up a total of $2,023. So cute. And the next one is a self-care challenge. So I've been focusing a lot lately on my overall health. I think that it's so important not to only take care of your financial goals, but also your overall health goals. So I really think this is so cute. So she has like a little candle, a nail polish, and then you can write in the amounts that you want each little logo to represent. So I'm also excited to start this challenge next year. And the next one is a birthday challenge. So this is so cute. She has these little balloons and the numbers in each one. So you can go ahead and save that amount. And then by the end of the challenge, you will have saved up a total of 500. And then this one is also super cute as well. So this is a safety net. So you'll save up 500 and then each little um, denomination is listed over here. So you have 7, 13. So thank you so much, Erica, for sending these saving challenges. And if you would like to also participate, I will also leave her information down below. Moving right along, we have my budget breakdown for paycheck number one of September. And I always like to start off with quote of the week. Quote of the week says, successful investing takes time, discipline, and patience. And that comes from Warren Buffett. I really like that quote. I think it speaks volume. I myself do like to follow that advice. I like to buy and hold for the long term. All right, moving right along, we have my bills that I do track online. I don't actually take out physical cash, but what I do is the total amount for the month, 
I divide that by two, which represents the two paychecks that I receive every month. And that's how I was able to get these numbers over there. Down here are for my cash envelopes. So these are things that I spend cash on a weekly basis. So like my groceries, gas, spending, my cats, pay it forward, and drinks and eating out. And then just a while ago, we saw my Tiger Savings Challenge, and that was for $80. Let me go ahead and flip you all to the back. All right, and then on the back here are for my sinking funds. So these are categories that I am saving up for the short term as well as the long term. At the top are for like my new car, car maintenance, my emergency fund. And then down here are for things like my subscriptions, postage, three to six month expenses. So for the most part, my budget for this has not fluctuated. I do like to do a quarterly review. And if I think that I need to change around the numbers, then I usually do that at every quarter. But let's go ahead and get right into the stuffing. All right, friends, let's go ahead and get right into my cash stuffing. So today we will be working with a total of 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 650, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 11, 20, 40, 60, 80, 12, 20, 40, 60, 80, 13, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1400, 14, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 1500, 1505, 10, 1520, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. Hope you're all having a great week so far. So first up are going to be for my cash envelopes. So these are categories, again, that I spend cash with on a weekly basis. So this week we actually had some rollover in groceries. So I had $10. So I will save this for the end. Right, and then groceries is going to be getting another $200. Right, so 120 40 60 80 and 200 Gas is going to get 50. It's so awesome to see so many of you. You mentioned that gas is going down in your area. That's so awesome. Gas is going to get 60. Spend is going to get 40. So 20 and 40. Pay it forward, it's going to get its usual 20. All right, and then drinks and eating out will be getting 40. So 20 and 40. All right, so these are good and ready to go. Just put them back inside of my wallet. All right, moving right along, we have my Aqua Blue Binder. First category is going to be for my new car, and it's going to be getting another $50. Recently, I did a bill swap video, so make sure to check that out. So now we have 100, 200, 300, and 350. Next is for car maintenance, and we'll be getting another 50. I have a car maintenance appointment coming up next month. So we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 70, and 375. So important to keep up with your car maintenance. Right next will be for emergency fund, and it will also be getting 50. All right, so we have 100, 200, 300, 350, 420, and 425. This is also another important category. You just never know when an ex unexpected expense will come up so you just want to be prepared for that next will be for home it'll be getting 500 all right 
and this is for my house down payment savings. And I do keep the money in a separate online account so that way I can earn interest over time. All right, so we do have some placeholders here. So this is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 3,500, 4,000, 4,102, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 5. So 4,500, which is so amazing. And if you are new to my channel, the goal amount right now for my house down payment is for $100,000. Alright, next up is for birthdays. Birthdays will be getting 25. So we have 120 and 125. Lasik Eye Surgery will also be getting 25. And I do plan on doing this hopefully within the next year and a half. So we have 100, 150, 170, 80, 85, and 190. All right, Beauty will also be getting 25. 20 and 5. Right, so 120 and 125. Right, and the next three envelopes are for my three beautiful nieces. So every paycheck, I do like to set aside $15 for each of them. So first up is Sky. She will be getting 15. 50, 60, 70, and 75. And I also do invest their money in a separate online brokerage account. I do participate in the $1 a day investing challenge. So that way I can teach them the importance of saving, also to invest at an early age. All right, Hoku will also be getting 15. 50, 60, 70, and 75. And then the last envelope here is for uh, Leah. Leah will also be getting 15. And she just started daycare. It's so cute. She just loves going and making friends. So she has 50, 60, 70, and 75. All right, then normally the last envelope here from before was for my debt snowball. But being that I have fully paid off my care credit card, I am using the money for my mystery challenge. So let me go ahead and get that real quick and I'll be right back. All right, friends. So next up, we have the mystery challenge box. And this is part of the 100 envelope challenge. This will be the third round that I am participating in this fun challenge. I know a lot of you are also doing it and I'm just cheering each and every one of you on. Just stay with it. It is rewarding. So every Sunday in my um, savings challenge video, I do pick a few envelopes. So let me just go ahead and grab these real quick. Wait, let me just put this off to the side. So if you missed the video, the numbers that I chose were 67, 85, and 16. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff these real quick. All right, friends, and if you would like to participate in this fun mystery challenge box, I will link Gina Renee Art and Budgets shop down below. Such a fun way to save up money. And if you would like to see the numbers that I pick for next week, stay tuned till this week's Sunday saving challenge video. Before we jump into my future binder, can you all guess what day it is? It's transfer Thursday. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do participate in Transfer Thursday and it is solely determined by all of you. The amount of YouTube likes I get in the previous Transfer Thursday video is the dollar amount that I will be investing for that week in my online brokerage account. Last week we had a total of 106 likes. You all are so awesome. So we have a total of 100, 105, and 106. And in my sinking funds update video, I forgot to add the placeholder for this one. So I will be doing that today. So 
So let me just organize this real quick. So we have 1,000, 2, 3,000, 4,000, 4,500, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 5,000. So that will be 5,000. So awesome, you guys. Excited to get the next 5K. Right, and it's a little bit thinner now, which is so awesome. So we have 5,000. 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82. So I can actually condense this. 200. So 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we condense this too. <laughs> Spontaneous bill swap. <laughs> and then one, two, three, four. So let me just recount this real quick. So 5,000, 100, 200, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So $5,244. So amazing, you guys. So thank you so much. And it is another week, which means you all have another opportunity. Give this video a huge thumbs up. And let's see how many likes we can get for next week's Transfer Thursdays video. Next up, we have my future binder. And the first category is normally for my brand new bed, but your girl did some grown up things. She purchased a brand new bed. I'm so excited. I have been saving up for this for over a year now, and I just thought it was the perfect time. I recently completed the 808 Mystery Scratch Off Challenge, and they did have a Labor Day sale. So I thought, what better way to reward myself with purchasing a brand new bed? So I will be having that delivered in the next couple of days, but I am going to be retiring this envelope for now. I think sleep is so important for your overall health and well-being. Next is for health, speaking of which, we'll be getting $20. And this is for any time like I go to the um, doctor and use like cold keys or anything like that, medicine, vitamins. It has 50, 70, 90, and 100. All right, subscriptions will be getting 25. This is for like my um, Amazon Prime, YouTube Premium. It has 120 and 125. Next is for postage. Postage will also be getting 25. And thank you so much, Erica of Erica Budgets, for setting those saving challenges. Now has 120 and 125. Right next is for receipts. And I do participate in Fetch Rewards, which is an online reward system. You can redeem it for like grocery gift cards if you want to eat out. They also have like Amazon, Macy's, for example. If you would like to participate, I will leave my referral code on the screen. If you download the app for the first time, scan your first receipt. We each will get at least 2,000 points. So if you want free food, go ahead and participate. <laughs> Next up is for electronics. Electronics will be getting 25. It now has 100, 220, 45, 6, 7, and 248. Three to six month expenses will be getting 50. So we have 100, 250, 300, 320, and 325. Next is rollover. So at the beginning, you saw that I had $10 in rollover money. So this will be going in here. Next is for taxes. Taxes will be getting its usual 25. All right, so 150, 70, and 175. Alright, 
and then you two will be getting the rest so 20 40 45 and 50. so the amount that was normally for my bed will be going towards this for now So YouTube has 120, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, and 195. All right, friends, that's going to do it for another cash stuffing video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you've made it this far into the video, go ahead and comment down below one thing that you are saving up for at the moment, and I will catch y'all in my next video. Aloha, take care.